Hello, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School, the Information Lab, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a candlestick chart in Tableau. So candlestick charts are great for stocks and shares kind of trading information where you've got a certain time period that you're looking at and you've got when the market opened, when the market closed, and you want to see how that price has kind of varied in that time. So if we take a look at a line chart, for example, to, as a comparison, then we've got historical data of uh, the exchange rate between pounds and dollars. And if we just look at a line chart, then we're just getting the information about the average closing price. Whereas if we were to look at this as a candlestick chart, for example, then we have a lot more information. If we take a look at this bar here in 1981, then you can see, first of all, that it is red, meaning that the closing price is lower than the opening price of the market. So the top bar, uh, the top of this bar is the opening price and the bottom of the bar is the closing price. And then the sort of wick behind this bar is the high and the low that that exchange rate got to over the course of the year. So that's already so much more information displayed and so much more visually um, interesting to look at as well. So let's go ahead and build one in Tableau ourselves. So the data itself is just looking like we have each year, we have the open, the close, the high and the low. So it's all quite a simple data format. We've created two calculated fields where we're just calculating the spread of the high and the low and the spread of the open and close. So let me just show you those. So if we take a look at that, then the high low is literally just minusing off the high from the low naturally. And then the open close is doing much the same. It's just minusing off the open from the close. So let's go ahead and start building. So we're going to take our year pill and we're going to drag it over into the columns as our X axis. And then we're going to take our high and our close, our open, sorry, and we're going to drag those onto the rows shelves. Now you can see that it's chosen for some reason to create these as shapes, but actually what we want to select is the Gantt bar type as our marks card. So then when we uh, dual axes these and synchronize the axis by right clicking on the header of the second one and choosing the synchronize axes option, then we just make sure that that is all aligned basically. And then we're going to get rid of that header there. Now to get these to be lines rather than uh, vertical lines, rather than horizontal lines, we're going to need these calculations that we have used. So we're going to first of all, take the uh, measure names off of color here because that's not useful for us. And we're going to take the spread high, low and drop it onto the size marks card. Now we can see that that has created those bars, um, which go will be the wicks basically. So we're going to drag the size right down to the smallest setting, and then we're going to do the same for the open close, spread open close. Just drag that onto the size, and now that's looking much more like the candlestick charts that we had before. We're also going to put the open close onto color, and then we're just going to edit those colors to select a better color palette. Now, traditionally, uh, we would have a red-green diverging color palette, but we know that red and green aren't very good for people who have colorblind issues. So we might instead choose to use the red-blue. And then we're just going to have it two steps so that everything that is positive is blue. So when the price increased from the year start to the year end, it's going to be blue, whereas it's going to be red if we've had a decrease in that exchange rate. And we're just making sure it's centered at zero for those reasons. And now we have something that is much more visually appealing and has a lot more information than just a line chart. We could do some formatting to take away the grid lines. Uh, we could change the tool tips as well. Um, and hopefully once we've finished playing around with those sort of aesthetic changes, we get to uh, the chart that we see here, which is available on my Tableau public profile. So please feel free to go and download that and I hope that this has been really helpful for you and that you now feel comfortable building a candlestick chart in Tableau. So please do uh, get in touch if you enjoyed this video and look out for other videos in this series like the how to build a waterfall chart from Ruth that you can click the link to now to go watch. So thank you for listening.